really know how to begin this video other than say I'm back. It's been so long since I filmed you guys. Things got ridiculous here um, over the holidays around December. So it's been a while since I filmed. That is now changing. Thank God because I am so done with stress and crap just going wrong in my life. It's I'm done. My computer and the primary reason I have not filmed decided to completely shit the bed. So I was unable to edit, I was unable to upload anything, and thankfully my amazing, amazing fiance got me a brand new computer for Christmas and I am back up in business. This is my first video that is uploaded from my new computer and I am mind blown at how crappy my old one is now that I see what it's like to have a good one. This is a collaboration with my friend here on YouTube. Her name is Lulu. She is such an angel and she has been so forgiving and understanding of my situations. I love her. She has an amazing Instagram. I talk about it all the time. She has an amazing YouTube channel. You guys need to go check her out. Linked below, like always, definitely go give her some love. She is a fantastic, fantastic social media presence. Um, so yes, this is the finale of our 12 Pans of Christmas Project Pan and um, I'm gonna update you guys on the products that I still had in my last update and let you know how I have done. Before you guys say anything, I'm aware. My glam Christmas tree is still up. And honestly, I love it so much. I might actually leave this up year round in my beauty room. I don't know, let me know what you think down below. Is this like super tacky to have it up all, all the time? Not in every video, but like, you know, periodic videos. Um, okay, so the first product that I had left over at the last update was my Fresh Sugar Advanced Lip Treatment. Um, really nice lip balm. I love this, I really, really do. I use it all the time and it is so close. It's so close, look at that. Um, the plastic is just barely below the product. This will be gone in like three or four days. I mean, let's be honest here, it will. Um, I just, I was using the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and I really liked it. So I took a break from this and it'll be gone. So I'm consider this a win because yeah. The next product I had was the Urban Decay um, All Nighter Setting Spray. We were almost done with this at the last update anyway, but I did finish it off. So I really do like this. I have a little mini guy here that's also about to be gone, like next use maybe. Um, but I've actually decided that I'm not gonna repurchase this because my skin in the past year has gone from super oily to so Sahara Desert dry that all of my matte foundations are pretty much useless. All of my mattifying primers are pretty much useless and this makes me look so cakey and gross. Now, if you're oily, this is phenomenal, amazing. It will make your makeup last so, so long. But for me now in the style of my life that I'm living at the moment, um, I need something way more dewy and just not so hardcore. So although it's great, I'm not gonna repurchase this right now. The next product that I had was by Avon and this was that old AF powder, the Smooth Minerals Radiant Veil Powder. Um, this, I don't think I finished this at the last update. I think I still had some left, but either way, it's gone. Um, I did really, really like this. I don't even know if you can purchase this anymore. It's very, very similar to like the Hourglass Ambient Powders or the um, Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. So I'm not gonna repurchase this because there's so much on the market now that's very similar, but it was a really good product. The next thing that I had was the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Um, and this one, I think when we had the last update, it was at like a third of the way down. Although I almost finished it, it's like just at the bottom of the label right here. I will get this done. I just took a break from these looser like veil powders for a little bit and fell off the wagon. So this one didn't quite make it to finishing but I still got a lot of use out of it and I will be finishing it up probably in the next week or two. Let's talk perfume because I have way too many and I need to get through like 500 freaking more. But there's one out. Um, this is the Estee Lauder Modern Muse perfume and we didn't have too much left the last update but it is completely gone. I really liked this. I still really like this. I have a rollerball, so I'm not like pining for it yet, but I'm sure I will be when it's gone. But um, I, I don't know if I would repurchase this. Not mature, like old lady mature, but it's definitely more, it's not a fruity, floral, fresh kind of scent. It's, it's definitely a little bit more on the like the spicier side, a little bit more on the like, adult side of perfumes. I used up an eye cream. Um, I had very little left of this. It did last like another week and a half or so of use. This was the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. And I've talked about this before on my channel. I really like this. You barely need any. In fact, this little teeny itty bitty sample container lasted me probably six months of almost daily use. And I used it under my eyes and on my lids because my lids are my problem area. They're just really, really dry. So I really liked this. Um, I have a bunch of other eye creams to go through before I repurchase it, but I probably honestly wood because it's really really good. I finished up my Lancome Monsieur Big mascara and in the process of using this entirely up I realized 
I don't know if this is my favorite mascara anymore. Um, I don't know. It just, there's nothing wrong with it per se. I just feel like it doesn't give me the effect that I want on my lashes. I've gone away from like the thick, voluminous lash kind of preference into more of a wispier, longer lash because my lashes are stubby. I mean, let's be honest. I'm not even wearing falsies today and you can barely see my lashes. I'm not blessed in the lash department. So this really just kind of gives it too much volume for how short mine are. And I wish it gave a little more length, but I do like it. I love the wand. If you guys like the Too Faced better than sex, but you hate the fact that it flakes all over your face, give this one a try because this one on me at least does not flake. Next, I had the Sephora every time, every single video, I have to look and see what the name of this is. It's just not a name that I remember. I don't know why. This is the Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation. Um, when we started this project, I don't even think I had hit pan yet. In last update, I had just barely hit pan. And although I did not finish it yet, this is where we're at now. But I can tell you this powder is paper thin, the kind of paper thin where you swirl your brush and chunks come off because it's so thin. So I imagine this is going to be gone probably if I use it five times, maybe. I haven't been using this as much because as I lose my tan, like I ever had a tan, like I ever got a tan in the summer. Let's be honest here, girl. You gained like a quarter of a shade. But either way, since I lost what little color I got in the summertime, um, this became too yellow for me. So I haven't been using it as much. I will finish it up and just get it out of my collection, but I wouldn't repurchase it. I just really don't need powder anymore. I mean, at all. My skin is that dry. So it was nice though, has good coverage. It's It looks nice on the skin, no complaints. It's just not my shade and I don't need powders. But this is the last product that you saw in the last update that wasn't finished. And sadly it's still not finished, but it's so close I'm calling it done, I think. I just, I don't like it. <laughs> um, this was the NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Light. Now I've had this for like two and a half years. This is a really unique pencil in the way that you can use it as kind of like a concealer. You can carve out your brows, you can reverse line your lips, you can use it on your waterline. Um, I use it to carve out my brows most of the time but it's starting to get dry so it's leaving a thicker amount of product and it's bunching up and I really can't stand the way it looks and I haven't found a way to use it so I'm probably gonna call this done but I mean look at this you guys like wouldn't you call that done too it's it's done um it's just a really light nude shade it comes in a few different colors but this one is in the shade light so surprise Shay needs like you know an alabaster pencil because she's pale as a ghost but that's it, you guys. That's my update. I hope you enjoyed this rambly video. Um, I don't know still what to do with my hands. So maybe in the next few videos I film, I'll figure that out and we'll uh, get back to the groove of things. But let me know down below, like I said, what you think about my background. Should I leave my Christmas tree up? Because I mean, it, it's so pretty. <laughs> I love it so much. So if you have not subscribed to my channel already and you have not been driven crazy yet, definitely hit that red button down below and click the bell so you're notified of now that I'm going to be uploading again. Thank you, Lord, uh, for new computers. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Lulu. She's an angel. I love her so much. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.